Hello guys, this is Fred and I'm here guys to actually go over your FICO score and I'm going to explain to you what's in your FICO score if you want to boost your score, uh, if you want to boost your credit score. I know a lot of people have been asking me a question and I receive a lot of phone calls on how to actually um, build the credit. But I am here today guys and to actually bring it to you and go over what's in your FICO score and how you can actually increase uh, your score. So uh, what I would ask you to do for me, please, uh, I would ask you guys if you can please share this live so so it can reach as, uh, as many people as possible because this is not for me. I already have the knowledge, but it's for you and maybe a friend or a family member that's going to need that information. So if you guys can please pass it on, and you can share it in some groups. I will definitely appreciate it. And pour mon qui parle créole, uh, si vous ka share live là, and then pour l'autre pour nous and then la pi bon. Because the reason I'm doing this live, guys, is to talk about credit. So, gen pil mon qui pa koné ki sa ki credit. So, le yal achete yon bagay, and then, se le sa yo ale yal pour le credit yo, et puis yo pon yon hard inquiry, but yo pa même koné ki sa ki hard inquiry. So, mwen parle over an pil information jo di an, so, if you guys can just sit and relax and get the information and it's, believe me, this is America, the information is going to benefit you. So today I want you guys to actually get the information and understand it and, and, and not making the same mistake that you, make, that you made in the past. So uh, thank you very much, Julia, for sharing. I know you always hear from me uh, and you're the first person that always, always share everything that I do. And guys, again, uh, a lot of people need that information. It's about credit. If you need a car, you need to buy a house. You need to actually get a personal loan. You need to apply for a student loan. You need to apply for, you need to apply for care credit. Like a lot of people don't have health insurance. So the fact that you don't have health insurance, uh, a lot of people would go and seek medical care. And that, what they do, they actually pull their credit so that they can give them something called care credit. The care credit is pretty much you go, you don't have the money, you get the, the you get the 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 the, the, assist, the medical assistant need that you that that you actually in, in need of, and then they charge you and they bill you later on. But if you don't have credit, there are a couple of things you can't do. For instance, if you want to do plastic surgery, if you want to do like something that has to do with other orthodontia, so these things are not covered by insurance. So what you can do is actually get care credit, but you cannot have this sort of procedures if you do not have good credit. So I'm going to, um, like I said, guys, I'm going to go over a lot of information, guys, that's going to be beneficial to you. And again, guys, if you're in the process of getting an apartment, you need credit. But if you don't know how credit is used, you will get in trouble because the system was not built for people like us. It was built for a millionaire to make more money and for people like us to stay in the position that we are in today. So if you, under, if you think credit was made for you, you just made a big mistake. The credit system was not made for you. The credit system was a system was implemented by rich people so that they can penalize poor people like us so that they can make a lot of money, all right? So be smart, and then I'm, I'm asking you guys, if you can stay on the live and you can share with a couple people, I would definitely appreciate it. That's all I'm asking. And again, guys, my name is Fred. For the ones that do not know me and for the ones that's going to pretty much faire connaissance avec pour première fois. And then, qui ça Fred dit? And then Fred, c'est un businessman. Moi, je fais tax, moi, je fais credit repair, and then also, moi, je fais real estate. So, si you're in the state of Florida, you can buy a house, you can buy a house. If you have a house that's not good, you can buy a fix And then, if you need to do tax, and then, I'm also a tax preparer. And then, I'm going to do tax for my neighbor who is on the other side, and I'm going to fix my credit for my neighbor who is on the other side. And then, if you want to go to Florida, or if you want to go to the other side, or if you want to go to the other side, or if you want to go to the other side, and then when we apply for you, and then we can do as the premier car you, or bien sûr on car you are living, we can apply for you and do the process plan, make sure that you do the right thing. So we pretty much have one stop, one one stop shop. So whatever you need, guys. And again, for for when you click on me, I'm going to offer public notary service. 
so, si, so, si ou son moun ki déjà traverse ma même déjà, et de nou besoin de notarize yon papier, et de nou just in office, my friend, me don't notarize it for you, I would definitely do that for you guys. But again, guys, uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be a fun day, and and I want I'm gonna keep it very short. And if you guys have any question, please call me 407-692-3280. 407-692-3280. And again, my name is Fred. I am going to be your mentor today, your credit mentor. All right, guys, let's go. So I'm sharing here, guys, as you're sharing as well. I'm sharing with you. So don't think like, hang on. While you're sharing, I'm sharing as well. And you guys know, if you come on my life, you will never go without learning something. You know that. So if you come on my life, you will never go without learning something. So my job is to pretty much give you guys as much as information that possible so that I can set you up for success. All right, guys, there we go. So I'm gonna leave that here. Partagez, partagez, partagez. Je vais quitter ça là. Et de quoi? Si on moun, pose une question. Good evening, everybody. Good evening, everybody. So si on moun pose une question, moun ka dress, allez là, et de ma ka wè. All right, guys. So what is your credit score? So credit score, c'est un système qui, like, that moun te dit déjà qui yo implement si ou pa lè yon loan ou pa lè uh, ou pa lè yon loan ou pa uh, ou fè kon vin apatman ou bezwen have utilities like water electricity installed in your house you need sometimes to check your credit so si ou sonn ki pa gen bon crédit yo fwa pay yon deposit si ou gen bon crédit hmm yo ave pas yo vin installer pou ou san pa bezwen paye 50 assurance si ou, ou, ou gen mauvais crédit, y a check as, ou besoin assurance pour machine nou. Yo check e crédit yo gen mauvais crédit, yo mouté prix assurance lan sou. Ou besoin yo appartement. Yo check e crédit ou si pa gen appartement pa qualifié. Ou besoin l'acheter machine, ou pa gen crédit, yo mouté prix machine lan sou, yo faut payer un intérêt qui pi haut parce que l'autre monde qui gen bon crédit. Ça veut dire depuis pa gen bon crédit, you're losing 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 and you ended up being poor. And the, the more you start getting debt the highest your interest rate gonna be, and then the more poor you're getting, right? So now, guys, this is how they calculate the credit score. Make sure you calculate credit score. Hi, guys. Make sure you calculate credit score, okay? So you guys are here, you can tag somebody, tag someone who's gonna get bad credit, mauvais credit, bad credit, mauvais credit, tag your moon for the information. So, guys, make sure credit score you calculate. So, I'm gonna start with that. Of course, I'm gonna start with that. I'm gonna start with that. But I'm just gonna start with that. I'm gonna start with that. Ou m'a joué un cercle. So, mais c'est un cercle. On va quitter là. Oh, sorry, guys, sorry, sorry. On va faire trois pieds fort sous lui. Pour me mettre sur qu'il m'a bon nom. You're a nice cercle. All right, guys. Make it only. So, your credit score is like a chart. It's like a pie. Si on m'a fait foncer pour nous pas ouais, parce que moi pas ouais bientôt. Alright, so mais qui j'ai crédit score hein? So ça c'est un pipe. Et then crédit score nous, les c'est the highest is eight fifty. That's your FICO. Je vais mettre là. Faiko. So, il y a un peu de monde parfois qui pose une question qui dit Fred, qui ça qui fait ko? Moi même, le job c'est pour m'expliquer qui ça qui fait ko. Thank you very much, Rosanna. So, je vais faire ko. So, Faiko score nous, c'est. Il commence avec 8, 50. Alright? So, 8, 50. So, the pie, that pie. The whole entire pie is 850. Right? So now let's divide it into five categories. Right? So pie sa mwal divise en six categories. So this is six categories that you control the FICO score. So premier, so bam bam divise first. You have this here. You have that here. 
you have that on the side of 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 the so, make it a FICO score to represent it, guys. Okay? So, c'est comme ça FICO score to represent it. Ça a dit, crazy history. So, crazy history, it's pretty much, c'est qui gens ou payer debt to. Est-ce que ou même yon moun le ou pan yon debt, est-ce que ou payer debt to on time? So, si ou même son moun ki pa jam gen debt, ou pa jam fè rien, most likely, you don't have a credit history. So, ça m'a vu faire nos comprendre aujourd'hui, guys. Il y a plein de monde qui n'a pas de crédit. So, quel crédit ou bad, quel n'a pas de crédit, c'est qu'il considère qu'il n'a pas de bad credit, right? So, no credit, bad credit is the same thing. So, il y a des gens qui disent, ah, le crédit n'est pas bon, mais le crédit n'est pas bon, même. Il n'y a pas de care, parce que vous n'avez pas de crédit. Il y a des gens qui n'ont pas de crédit, il y a des crédits qui viennent gâter. So, bad credit, all right? So, no credit, bad credit is still bad credit. Get this, right? So now, this is 35% of your credit score. This, we call it credit history. CH. Okay? Credit history. CH. That's 35%. So thirty five percent are thirty five percent of the 850 là. So, qui j'en fait pour qu'on ait combien de les crédits, les gens disent, oh, crédit history, mon a, a, crédit history, mon a 100%. Alright? So, c'est là pour dire, mon a fait paiement on time, mon a pas j'en fait qu'un lit paiement, so mon a vint bénéficier de full 35%. But pour qu'il full 35%, là, pas de combien de liés de 850. So, vous faites c'est 850 multiplié par point 35. So, je mets le me concept décimal pour qu'on comprenne. Et then je vais mettre 9, I mean, 2974, I mean, 297.5. So, 200, mais 35% là, il s'allie. So, it's 297.5. Alright? 297.5, that's 35% of 850. Which means, le ou pa paye crédit on time, and then ou el commence tombe nan 80, uh, your credit history is like, uh, your credit history is like 95%, uh, kwa moun ki gen student lan yo, we credit history, le ou pa fe payment, and then you keep up reporting, reporting, late payments, late payments, late payments, so you got pil late payments, and then ou avin tombe nan nepot nan 80, 80% credit history, and then that's pretty much, this is what you're playing with. You're playing with this. So anytime you make a late payment, the print is deducted from this. All right? So that's 35% that credit history. So now, gain lo dai ki important encore, c'est credit usage. Credit usage or debt ratio, ki n'importe jan vle rele lan, ki sa li vle di? Li simplement vle di combien ko bou depanse lè ou bo yon debt, lè ou gen yon yon loan sou. Uh credit card. Right? So log in credit card Game on you ah yeah, you need to use 30% under your credit card. That's BS. Uh, to keep your credit percentage, I mean your credit usage low, you must use under 10%. Because it's comme ça you play you. So le wal utilise 30 le wal um le utilise 30 30% li pa tellement beneficial to you. All right? So si on si on on credit card ki gen 1000 dollars la dan, just utilize 100 dollars and then make your payment on time so that you can take advantage of it. All right? So now you have this, 30%. That 30% is your credit card use, all right? So credit card. You got the credit use, you just made it like that. All right? So that credit use, I made it like boom. So now, ça you suppose to know that if you get a credit card, for who the kids are utilize it. So the higher amount you put on your credit card, the lower your credit score is going to be. And now you want to know how many points is this? So out of 850, 
So you say 850 times 0.30. That's 255 points. All right. So this is 255 points. Okay. This is 255 points. So that means see you mem someone kicking high credit card balance. Pretty much you are playing with this. So there are 255 points that you are playing with. So the higher, okay, the higher your credit, I mean, the higher amount you put on your credit card. So it's actually for our going to do all your credit usage. If you guys can go on credit karma, you, you go on, you go to credit usage, and then you're gonna see how much money you spend on credit card. So how they do it? It's just like see you get million dollar your exam, we till it's a six hundred dollar adult. Sadly, you get a split that in half. So twenty five I'm doing what? See you get million dollar. Which is a six hundred dollar adult, so which is six hundred dollar. That's in half. So all you got to do is do two fifty five divided by two. That's when get one hundred twenty seven points. Uki get a sort in a Do you guys get it? Do you understand? So now, listen to me now. When you use this, you you playing with the thirty percent, and like I said, I give you that example. If you use five hundred dollars out of two fifty five, so pretty much you are missing one hundred twenty seven points out of this. Which means, like, if you are one of the person that have high credit card usage, start paying your credit card so you can get this full two fifty five. And then, other thing that's very important, guys, is this. They call that the length of your credit, the age of your credit. So for your get your credit key amazing, you should be about like your credit history should be about 10 years. Or I would say 9 to 10 years and up. So I see ça, if you can't put the credit score, 15%. That's the age of your credit. Mamit la age. So get up in moon. And then on my mon guy smile bon notice your credit encore. Get up in moon kiss it up applique pour credit card, applique pour credit card. Chaque lè ou applique pou yon kredi kat, kredi kat lan aprouv ou retire 6 mwa de l'aj kredi ou. 6 mwans. So, chaque lè ou applique, tako la lè se ou te gon kredi ki te gen 5 an, pa de kredi ou gen 5 an, you see the age of your credit is 5 years, and you go apply for a credit card, so now the age of your credit is 4.6 years. So, 4 years and 6 mwans. So, so applique pou yon lot kredi kat lan kwa, Last grades you have in this on a cat run. So the more debt you're putting into yourself, the more you are decreasing the age of your credit. And the age of your credit is 15% out of this. So now let's do it. So 15 850 times 0.15. Okay? So it's two, I mean sorry, 127.5. That's it. That's the age of your credit. So now, if you have someone who can remain applicable for credit card, and then you have someone who can fake new, who can't have any credit, know that you have 200, I mean, you have 127.5 that you can't have any credit. So if you have a credit card, you can't have any credit card, and then you can't have any credit card, because the age of your credit is new. So you don't have anything. So you don't have anything. You don't have anything. And after that, guys, I'm going to go over collection with you. So why it's so bad for you to get into collection? Oh, wow. Fred a fixé crédit et puis Fred dit mon pour pas tomber dans collection. But moi, même job, moi, c'est pour éviter de tomber dans collection. So why it's so bad for you when you have collection? I'm going to go over this. But now. So now, you have this. This is the age of your credit. So if you bring new, you never have credit. Or you have a credit card and they pass. And that credit card, you can't pay it. You, that get into collection. So when that credit card get into collection, you lose all this. All the good stuff that was in that credit card, you lose it. You, you, you lose the credit history, all the payment that you used to make. You, you, because the credit card get into collection, you lose it. And then the credit usage, it's trash. And in the age of your credit, it's going to be gone. So when you remove an account that's been on your credit for a long time, because it was negative, because like I fixed it, because it's like a cancer, right? Lors on crédit carte, il était bon depuis il vient affecter qu'elle tombe dans collection, il pas first of all, il pas réouvert pour et then 
the only thing you can do is to get rid of it, is to challenge it and remove it from your credit report. And now when you remove it from your credit report, all the good stuff that you had in the past, you're going to lose it. So now, try your best not to get into collection. Guys, now, l'autre bagaille qui est important, all right, l'autre bagaille qui est important, nous gagnons new credit. New credit. What is new credit? So it's for people that keep applying for new credit card every day. Go to Macy's. Go to Giuseppini. Go to AutoZone. Go to... Listen, guys, this is 10% of your credit score. 10%. New credit. New credit. So you guys want to know what that is? It's when you have, when you have like, hard inquiries. So again, we can say, ah, I'm going to hard inquiries back up with it. Of course, I'm going to it because guess what? This is 10% of your credit score. And they put on say now, <clears throat> 10 hard inquiries and higher, you are playing with this. Okay? This now is going to affect your credit score. And no car west, that's why we apply for a new debt. And then, you retire your two points, three points. And the point your hard inquiry, you can't get a credit for two years. Listen to me now. Lors point your hard inquiry, les après tu as crédit pour deux ans. Et les les descend prend. Ça veut dire super du trois prend avec un hard inquiry, but si on somme cap appliquer pour mortgage, tu vas appliquer sur pour ces bagages. Your hard inquiry going to be more. It's going to be about 8 points. Okay, if you are going to refinance a car, most likely you're going to take 5 points out of out of 850. So now, if you want to know like when you keep applying for stuff and you don't even know what your credit score is, but you are very curious and you keep applying and you think like a miracle gonna happen, and then you guys keep applying for credit card and they keep denying you, they keep denying you. You go in credit karma, credit karma is gonna say, oh, you may be approved for this, you, you pre-approved for that and you go apply. You receive one bag number, kids, oh yeah, you can qualify and then you apply. Guys, they're gonna deny you. You don't even know what your credit score is. How are you applying for debt and when you not even know what your credit score is? First thing you need to do and you need to understand before you go apply or get any debt you need to know what is my credit score. Is it going to be a risk of time or is it good? So most likely if your credit score is below 550, it's trash. Okay? Actually, I would say below 700, it's trash. You will not qualify for any of this. So stop wasting your time. Stop getting hard in Korea because you're affecting the 10% of your credit score. And if you want to know 10% out of 850, so you do this. 850, right, times 0.10. That's 85 that's 85 points here. But make it happen 85. So 85 points. So when you keep applying and getting hard inquiries and stuff like that, so you're affecting 85 points out of this. So you will so pretty much do this minus that. You will never have that. Let's say you have everything perfect in your hard inquiries. Your new credit is trash. So pretty much take everything minus 850. I mean minus 85. That's what you get. Lot qui est important encore. This is 10% of your credit score. You really need credit mix. Okay? Credit mix. So let's say you have a mortgage, you have a car, you have a credit card, you have, um, you have a credit card, you have a student loan, you have a personal loan, whatever you have, they call it credit mix. So credit mix is 10% of your credit score. 10%. All right? So let's say you're somebody that never established credit before. You will not get the 10%. So get off your feelings. Don't stop saying, oh, why are you fixing my credit and my credit is still trash? Because you don't have credit mix. You never have credit at all. So because you never have credit at all, this is what's going to happen to you. And then again, this is another 20, uh, because we defend déjà. We just got it là, and then to let it. Sayo, say 85, 85 points. So now, pour nous kawe sa map di, and then bon, bon fè matematik lan pou nou, why quick, right? Pour nou fè matematik lan pou nou, même sa mousot pran, say 2, mde di sa se 35 pousse, ki egal a 297.5, and then we get 30 pousse of the, 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 the 850, ki se 255, mde plus 255, and then we get sa the age of your credit, which is 15%, 15% equal to 127.5 plus 127.5. And 
And then when you say the, the new credit, when you apply for hard increase and stuff like that, you apply, apply for credit card, that's 85 points plus 85. And then when you point to the which is credit mix, I'm not going to but I'm going to make it credit mix. Make it so credit mix plus 85 again. That's the FICO, guys. If I'm, at the, if I'm at GCLA, 850. The same 850 that I put up here, when you do all this, okay, when you add it up, it's going to give you the 850. Okay, it's about magic. So, crazy, it's all about, I don't know if you guys see it, yes. So, credit, it's all about math. It's about magic. It's about the question of, yo, you have fixed the credit, you have fixed credit, amazing. It doesn't work that way. I do it for you. Stop saying somebody's fixing your credit and stop wasting your money if you don't have credit and thinking like somebody's going to do some miracle. So now, when you have collections now, this is how collection is going to affect you. So now, let's say you have a credit card and you max that credit card out or you go to the hospital and you have the medical bills or you go to you have a car you have a repo so now you need to get these things removed from your credit report and when you have them removed from your credit report then you can get you in a better shape but it's still when someone can get credit card let's say they're going credit card they're gonna have to pay more on time pay more on time and boom you lose i mean for some reason you lost your job unfortunately you lost your job and you cannot make payment on those credit cards now you come to me. So I go ahead and fight with the credit bureaus and the debt collectors and fight with them and I get them off your credit. But now, when I get it off your credit, it will not boost your credit score if you never have credit. So if you are somebody that only had these two credit cards that get into collections, when I remove these two credit cards, pretty much you don't have any credit anymore. So your credit score is gonna be no data. So that's why when you go in Credit Karma, and then you see, like he said, no data. No data. That means you do not have no credit history. You do not have no credit usage. You have no age of your credit. You have, most likely, you may have one collection. I mean, one hard in career too. But credit mix, that's the, that's the card that I just removed from your credit report. So your credit is going to be zero. So that's when you to name Vierge encore, to name. Like, we're to name, like, okay, now you're gonna start establishing credit. All right? So, when you remove collections, especially credit card, car repossession, don't expect your credit to go like boom. And don't expect your credit to go like 700 something points. People that, when you remove hard and career, I mean, when you remove collections and their credit go up, Moon's house is on their moon key, just okay, you know what? Uh, it's going to be no data. Credit is going to return to zero. And it's going to restart again. But if you have someone who has already had two credit cards, if you have someone who has already had two credit cards, if you have a machine to pay, or if you have a machine to pay, but then you have some medical bills. So if you on time, with a credit card all the time, it's just medical bills that you have to pay. You have to pay medical bills, and then boom, credit card is going to be in good standing. So medical bill you to suppress the score. So when you remove that and then crazy moon can move to 200 points, 150 points, 80 points. That's why when you see the person credit go up, most likely say your moon can take a key gain positive trade lines. So suppose you're going to keep trade line, you're going to get trade line. Trade line is just line of credit. So see moon some moon can déjà établi crazy déjà et puis les gains quelque part qui négatif. Lors et c'est ça qui négatif yo, ça qui positif yo pour faire score moon là monter. But les gens qui ne sont pas jamais en crédit, même, think about it, guys. Ou pas jamais en crédit et vous avez bad crédit. Les gens qui ne sont pas jamais en crédit, et puis vous ne sont pas jamais en crédit, vous ne sont pas jamais en machine, vous ne sont pas jamais en crédit. Et puis, 
ou à l'hôpital et pour prendre ou prend ou prend collection encore. OK, ou à l'hôpital ou prend plusieurs médicaux bills. Non seulement pas te gain crédit et pour venir prendre collection encore. Now you gonna fight with the credit repair guy. You gonna say yo, ou manger l'argent ou pas faut mettre dans crédit parce que crédit pas jamais monter. Of course crédit pas capable monter. Na pour lui ou pas te jamais gain crédit. Et puis ou t'es dans collection. So moi même job moi qu'on y a et tant que un expert Let me finish the collection. Yo, I'm going to encourage you to okay now. I'm going to the collection now. So if you want your your score to go up, you need to start now building your credit. And if you don't build your credit, this is when you're going to get in trouble. Now, who can you build credit? There are many options that are available. There are many people who self lender. So self lender, you can go to selflender.com and then you open your account there. You pay the cash every month, and then at the end of the year. At the end of the year, and then they give you like a credit card, and then credit card your ball on, and then you can utilize it or be whatever. Or be you can again, you can pay a lot of guys too. You can do to commence to build credit. But if you even someone who pays, you don't get credit, you don't get anything, and then you just sell your collection. Let's go to collection. Yo, I'm sorry, your score gonna drop, but actually you should be happy because you get collection to remove. Guys, that's all I got to say. Thank you for watching. 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 Thank you Gen moun ka fikse kredit ki pa konn met dan kredit ki pa ka bay kliyan yo bon explanation. So, e pa tout rezultat, e pa tout lè, pa fam konn poste rezultat et pi moun nan inbox mwen, "Oh Fred, or comment kredit nan fè pou konn mwen te kredit moun nan mwen te?" Mwen toujou di yon moun, "Prior result cannot guarantee the same outcome as you because chaque account diferan. Mwen ka retire yon bagay sou kredit moun, kredit moun nan mwen te 100 pwen, mwen retire yon bagay sou kredit ou pran negatif 3 pwen, ou pran negatif 5 pwen." Nga retire bagay sou yon kredi yon moun. Ou pa konne ki sa ki sa ki nan karot moun nan. E mba mba ka diskite sa ansi ma vo. That's a violation of HIPAA. But a karot moun nan pa menm jan ave pa ou. Mou konan travay pou madem avek mari. Pa dem travay pou madem avek mari. En so mari en te getan gen kredi kati, te getan gen afel. Madem nan pou kote jan mesab li kredi. But lem retire sa ki sou afel. Ni madem nan ni mari an. Kredi mari an moun te kredi madem nan desan. Guess what? Na ou bazde moun nan di kon sa. Koman fe pa madem pa ma mari nan moun te. Pa mna pa jan moun te. O ki gen lop afan yon. No, mwen travay, mwen retire koneksyon yo. It's just that ma ou te gen ten establi kredi deja, li gen positive account. So kredi lou, men mou pa jem gen ken positive account. When I remove the bad stuff, that's gonna actually hold your score and actually boost your score. You don't have none of that. So you cannot expect your credit to be the same as your husband because you guys have two different credit history. You get it? So now, why I'm saying this, guys, why I'm saying this is um so now Julia you say that if you miss payment on one day what would happen so now um this is what I would expect from you Julia get a peel bank get by your grace period grace sorry so grace period so what is the grace period guys so grace period It's actually when you go and you apply for a credit card, if you, you miss a payment, your bank do actually gives you like 30 days before they report that late payment to the credit bureaus to make, it, to make the payment. So now, your job now is to call your bank or whoever gives you a loan, ask them, hey, is there any grace period? Game will keep it for 30 days, game will keep it for 15 days, game will keep it for uh, 17 days, game will keep it for 12 days. Get money back for seven days. Get money back by grace period. So grace period means you you can't miss a payment, but they still give you time to make that payment for them not to report it. For instance, Macy's. If you miss a payment and like let's say you were supposed to pay on the twenty first, payment on the twenty first, you miss the payment on the twenty first. They give you until the, they still give you un, until the twenty first of next month to make that payment. So which means if you make the payment on the twenty second, get money. If you make the payment on the 27th, let's say 27th, you're still good because they still give you that grace period of a month. But if you spend like two months, you don't make that payment, this is when they're going to report your late payment. But I'm not going to talk about it, but I'm going to make it by 30 days by 30 day grace period. You don't talk about it with me. And you don't talk about it with me because they don't want you to get in the habit of making payment late. Okay? But those are things that inter you only have internal internal information they don't disclose it with the public and you can call them say hey is there any grace period 
They will, they will tell you. They have to tell you. But most likely, they will never send you a bill saying, oh, yeah, you have a 30-day grace period. They don't discuss it. They don't disclose it with people. So the same with your credit card. I don't know what credit card you have, and I don't know what the grace period is. The only people that can tell you is to call your bank, and the bank going to tell you, yes, we have a grace period of seven days or 30 days or 15 days or two months or whatever it is. I don't know. All right? So now, guys, what I want from you, I don't want nobody to come and say, uh, you're welcome, Julie. I don't want nobody to say, I don't have good credit. Or, mbavlik person, but nobody is going to get crazy. And then thinking like, just by removing collections, is going to bring your credit up. Guys, collection equal cancer. Let me click no. Collection. Collection equal cancer. You don't need collection on your credit report. When you go get a mortgage, they send your information to underwriting. And if you guys already apply for mortgage, you're going to see that, you're going to see like, they give you a list of your credit report and they're going to highlight all the bad stuff, all the collections. Collections equal to cancer. You do not need collection on your credit report. Ke ou même qui pa jamais établi crédit même. Ke ou même son qui te gen bon crédit qui vinn gâter. You should always try to avoid collection at all costs. Remove collection. It's bad. Even if you have everything here, you cannot well, here is the thing guys. This is how collection is going to affect you. Remember I said collection equal to cancer. Okay? Collection equal to cancer. So now, let's say you have a collection of a credit card. You don't make your payment on the credit card. You don't have to pay for the collection. You just get in the line collection. No. You don't affect the credit history. So because you're not pay, making payment on time and they keep reporting that collection, it's going to affect the 35% of your credit score. Because you are not making payment on time. Because that collection is already getting to default and now they're going to keep reporting in every month and that's going to drop your credit history. And you're going to see like, instead of you having a credit, instead of you having like a 100, 100% of credit history, you're going to end up having 90% credit history, 98% credit history, 95% credit history. Let me tell you guys what I'm talking about. Let me give you an example. I will give you an example of what I'm talking about, guys. So you can have an idea. So if you guys have credit karma, all right? So when I'm no longer live, you guys can go and you will see. Uh, if you go here, this is where it's all, it's all happening. All right? So this is where it's all happening. So you go here, the total of accounts. Back on the snap will be in. So the total of accounts. Let me bring it here. So now, payment history. 100%. Okay? So I make 214 payment on time. Okay, so my payment history is perfect. And then you have collections here. Collections, this is what you don't need. So you see the credit, uh, credit, um, the public record. Public record is most likely when you have a child support and when, or when you have, um, when you have judgments. Judgments, it's like bankruptcy and stuff like that. You go to public record and you have your collection here. As you can see, collection, you see, the regulatory marks are good to avoid. Always avoid derogatory marks. They can stay on your credit for 7 to 10 years. So, collection, the guy is in a credit zone for 7 to 10 years. So, it depends if it's a public, if, if it's a regular stuff like that. So, it's going to stay on your credit for 7 years. But here's something, guys. There's something called status of limitation. So, status of limitation, what it does, even when you have a collection and it's there for 5 years, so if you're in the state of Florida, they cannot come and, and, and put you in jail or arrest you or go, go pretty much uh, take your, your, your property or anything if that past seven years. They cannot call you in court if you have a payment passing seven years. I mean, passing five years. They call that status of limitation. So each state is different. So what you can do, you can go and Google what is my state, whatever, collection status, status, uh, status of limitation, and your state will tell you. But for Florida, 
it's uh it's seven years it's uh, five years meaning not because listen to me now not because it's five years is gonna come off your credit so the five years of status of limitation it simply say they will not come after you for that debt but that debt is still going to stay on your credit for seven years all right but after five years they will not come to you they will not call you in court and stuff like that they will not do it but here's the other thing you need to understand guys this is very important so when you look at here you see this i have a limit of thirty two thousand dollars in credit card i only use three thousand dollars so because i use three thousand dollars it put me at eleven percent and i'm going to pay this and the moment i pay it it's gonna drop my score up but I should never get myself into that $3,000 debt because I am afraid of debt and all the time I'm afraid of debt. Okay? So now, here. Game on kigen mil lola, if you get an utilize $600 la dan, but mwen mwen get 32 mil, and then mwen selman utilize 3 mil. All right? So if you think you have money on credit card and thinking like you're gonna blow it, be careful. Just think about Fred. Me, mwen pa gan pil. Seulement 32 000 dollars dans crédit card, but mais seulement utiliser 3 000. So don't go and get excited and just because they give you a little bills. Like let me give an example, guys. This is my Macy's, right? When you look at just my Macy's alone, you see, Kotel. Just for my Macy's, I have a limit of uh, 10,000 dollars. You see, just my shopping. You're well, okay. You know what? He's a businessman. They look me up and then they see like, oh yeah, he's good. And then they say, okay, you know what? Let me boost this guy. Let me give this guy like a tent so that I can buy suit. Okay. That's what they do to me. They give me this so I can go buy suit. You're welcome guys. But I will not do it. All right. I will not buy suit. But I'm going to get moon. See you again. Come here, come here. Say, whoa. Get moon. You're going to get 10 million on me. I swear to God. I give you two months for you to get in collection. Because the less of a balance is equal. I'm toujours dis on my wall. Give me a bag of Ferragamo. Give me a bag of Gucci belt for five five hundred dollars, seven hundred dollars. Yes, okay, I understand. But you cannot just take your whole paycheck and go buy a Ferragamo belt. It gave me just to create the cash still. Okay, so you have to be wise with your finance, guys. You have to be wise. You have to be very careful. Okay. So, if you have a cent for the regular price, just a cent for the $40, that still handle you and you're still going to look good, you're still going to look sharp. There's no need. If you have a cent for the value, 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 if you have a cent for the Your belt is just a belt. A Gucci belt do not put no value into you. If you have a cent for the value, if you have a cent for the value, if you have a Gucci belt, if you have a cent for the value, you have to be wise about your finance. This is a trap. This is for poor people. These are the trap poor people. They give you this. Okay? Macy's. They give me this. $10,000 so I can spend. I never late. I had this since 2000. Only God knows. They begin to get that. Where? When 2012. So I speak. Guys, when I let me parler, I parler from experience. I have this since 2012. Seven years. I never get into trouble for seven years. I never get into trouble. Okay? So now, what I need to show you guys, let's look at the cuts up. For example, I get $8 million, I use $1 million, so so on. But uh, what I wanted to show you, it's like $32,000, $32, I only use $3,000. I don't need it. Okay? So because these people, the more they can put you into debt, the better it is for them. The more interest you're going to end up paying. And, and guess what? You're going to get yourself into a position that you will never come out of it. Until you say, okay, you know what? F it. And when you say F it, boom, you, get, you just get cancer, right? So let me tell you guys what I say collection to cancer. If you keep eating bad food, okay? This is, this is why, why you, people have cancer. It's things that they eat. Okay, poor diet. They don't eat properly. And that's why that those things come 
and they stain your body and stuff like that and they create cancer. The same with collections, credit cards. You're not paying your credit card on time and it's not affecting all this. If you start missing payment, it's not affecting all this. Now when your credit card get into collection, it's affecting the whole pie. And now what, when you come to me, what I have to do is to cut the leg, right? I cut that leg. So the credit card that you have for t five years, you have been very uh, like organized and making your payment on time. But when you come to me and that credit card is in collection, I cannot save it anymore. I have to cut it. So pretty much cutting your credit card out of this is like cutting an arm, cutting your leg. And when you cut your leg, you have no leg. That's when you, have no, you don't have that credit card. But the difference is you can start applying and, or reapplying for a credit card and you can get it. But if you lose your leg, you lose your leg forever, right? But still. All right, guys. So now, you can call me from this number, guys. If you have questions, 407-692-3280. You can call me from this number. Again, if you need help, you can call me from this number. 407 692 Three two eight zero, and guys, I always tell people, if I'm working on your credit, and you don't get the result, I always go extra mile to help every single client that I have. But if you don't get the result, and I only, I only do the work like one, two, three times, I only do the work. Do not go waste your money with someone else. I I keep telling you this. Do not go and waste money because I know the amount of work I put into, and before I cannot remove something in your credit. I pretty much exhaust all my resources and no one can do nothing for you. I already use everything. If When I say something is, well, how are you going to settle this account? Because I hate when my clients are paying because the uh, collections and the debt collection, the debt collectors, they're just making money. They buy your debt for like a penny on a dollar and they just go ahead and, and trying to get the money out of you. I understand that. It's a business. They have to make money. But my job is to pretty much telling my client, do not pay these suckers. Do not pay collections. Do not. Come to me first. And I will do my best to remove as many as possible. I cannot come and say I'm going to remove everything, but I will definitely can get a bunch out. So let's say now you have collection for $50,000. So $50,000. And then I, I remove things for like uh, 35000 So pretty much you stay with like 15000 so instead of having the whole $35,000, I mean the whole $50,000, I give you a break and I, I get you off thirty five. dollars So now, what, I, what people say sometimes, Simon, Bobby Splikeno, business credit repair, it's a dirty business. But I'm saying that it demands patient, sinon it's not going to blanche, because a lot of people that don't understand. They just think like just because they pay you and then everything else, when the patient follow up on some of them, on fait trois mois, quatre mois, cinq mois, pas j'aime tant de monde encore. Et puis les monde, leur risque dans les monde, on soit fait un crédit. Qui les monde relou, pas j'aime checker crédit. Les experts ou même qui pour faire bouler. OK Les experts ou même pour faire toute bagaille pour lui. So les fin payer, ils prend toute information et puis monde ça parfois les disparaît. Et puis là les non Best Buy, là là je bagaille puis il dit fait sous crédit. Et puis les Best Buy deny lui après un an c'est là ça monde relou. Fred et pour fixer le crédit, vous avez un autre follow up ensemble avec eux. So credit repair, guys, it's a two-way street. It's, it's, it's a two-way process. I do my part, you do your part. You don't understand something, you call me. Some people call me and accuse me saying, Oh, Fred, vous n'avez pas besoin de faire un crédit, non? Et pour une question question poser mon nom. When was the last time you checked your credit? Je ne sais pas si non? How you say that I don't do anything when you never check your credit? Et bien, pile fois, mon salaire, le crédit, tout le bagage sorti, mais il y a des gens qui ont des positive trade lines. Et comme je l'ai dit, no credit, bad credit, c'est the same thing. Donc, so, si mon n'a pas des gens qui ont gagné, il n'y a pas de fixer le crédit pour penser que le crédit est parfait. Parce que je n'ai pas fixé le crédit, je n'ai pas tout le bagage qui l'a donné. Mais si vous n'avez pas gagné, bien sûr, je vais le mettre au parfait. Mais si vous n'avez pas des positive trade lines dans le crédit, le crédit n'est pas monté. So you have to actually monitor your credit and know when I'm working on it and know when things get deleted. Most likely you'll be the first person to be notified when something comes off your credit. Call me, contact me, use me. I always say that. 
If you are paying me, I'll be we binding a contract like we're going to work together. Do not leave me in that process by myself. Because at the end of the day, I have a lot of clients. And I, I keep track of all my clients. But at the same time, it's also your responsibility to follow up with me and say, Fred, what's going on? Check on this for me. Check on that for me. Do not pay me and then call me after seven months and just checking, oh, Fred, did you, first question I'm going to ask, did you check your credit? Do you see any change? That's what I'm going to ask you. And if you never check it, how are you going to expect me to do that for you? My job is to pretty much challenge the credit bureaus and debt collectors and fight for you. But it's just like, I'm not a lawyer, but it's just like, they take your lawyer. They, 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 they just point your case, and they work with you. But you may have to work ensemble. I'm going to have a doctor. You can't have a doctor. The doctor is a great doctor. Great, great doctor. In this zone. But if you buy your diet, or you buy medicaments, you follow, you don't follow the, the steps and the medications, you're going to get worse and worse and worse. That's how it is. So you have to follow up. It's just like when you come to me, you come to a clinic. My job is to prescribe, is to treat whatever it's bad on your credit. But at the same time, I cannot tell you, I cannot force you. I have to tell you, make, make your payment on time. But at the same time, we are adults. You have to be accountable as well to know that you have to make your payment on time. So if I'm fixing your credit and then this is when you decided not to make your payment on time, this is when you decided to go apply all over the place, apply for credit card, you will not see results. And I feel bad for people who's fixing credit that do not have the same knowledge as me, and then people are accusing them, and I feel bad for them. I feel sorry for them because they don't have the knowledge to actually go and, and do like a, a throughout consultation for a client. All right? Because I heard that all the time. Oh, yeah, somebody was working for me and they never do work. Like sometimes I'm like, yes, I understand, but did you follow up? Did you talk to this person? Did you ask, you know, how the process worked? Most likely, I don't know to pay you, but I don't know how to pay you. Did you try to call them? No, I'm too bad. Guys, money is not easy in America. So if you pay somebody money, if you pay somebody your money to do a work, make sure you also follow up to make sure your job is done or the job is in process. Do not just pay somebody and then just quasi mail and expect magic to happen. All right? And a peu de fois, I'm going to do tout ça li fait, And then it's just on your part to do what's best for you and for your credit. All right? So guys, c'est un plaisir uh, pour moi ce matin nous et donc moi toujours un plaisir uh, pour me toujours là et donc pour bon nous guys um, some details about the credit repair and how the credit repair work. Actually, it's not even about the credit repair, but it's all about the credit. What's on the credit? How the credit work? How the credit world work? How to actually maintain a perfect credit score? What to look for for to maintain your score? Because credit, guys, credit is not only about Uh, it's not only about like protecting your score, but it's also about building your score. How are you going to build your score? What you need? Call me about these things. What I need to start building my credit? How can I prevent a couple things to happen to me? Like for instance, late payments. How can I prevent from getting late payments? There are tips on that. And guys, one of the things you can do to prevent late payments is to make sure that you set a calendar. Like, there are many apps that can do this, like Payment Tracker kind of app. And, and, and you, also, you can do auto pay with your bank. Make sure that when the bill comes, they just process it. That way, you can avoid the payment. And, and, and again, when you see, like, you have an email saying, oh, your bill, your bill is coming in, 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 in five days. Once you receive that notification, make sure you stop whatever you're doing and make that payment. That's how people get in trouble. They receive a notification, and, and when they receive that notification, and they just, oh, okay, my get on fell. Okay. Tout moun busy. Pano oublie, pano, pano, what do I get on fell lan? Et puis, sotan de an, oublie fell, et puis le payment arrive sou, pas de même fell encore. Et puis, sotan de an, ou, ou stock avec on le payment. Le payment is the same as collection. Liste in a crédit ou, for seven years. So when you have a late payment, if you don't work and you don't do anything, li après de na crédit pour seven years. So avoid late payments. Credit card 
usage avoid using high amount high balance make sure that you always keep your balance under 10 percent i said it do not listen to people telling you 30 percent okay keep your balance under 10 percent that's very important now the age of your credit if you're somebody new to the credit world you need to understand like there's 200 i mean 127.5 points that you will not be getting right away so you can automatically deduct that from this deduct that from this because you can be at 600 uh, but you will never be i mean 600 700 low but you'll never be at 850 if you are somebody that just established credit now and a new credit collect i mean hard inquiries be careful with those all right i know it's kind of tempting when you go to the mall and they say hey mr nelson how you doing uh we have a sale going on today if you apply for this credit card today, we give you 30% off plus the regular sale, which is 5%, I mean, which is 15%. And you say, damn, so I'm going to have like 30% plus 15%, that's 45%. Damn, I'm going to kill it. Yes, apply. And you go boom and you apply for it. Once you apply for it, you qualify. And first of all, it's going to decrease the age of your credit by six months. Right? Six months. And guess what? You have a hard inquiry. Okay, and now I'm gonna tell you how they tied you guys. And when you have a hard inquiry, first of all, you apply for this new credit card at the mall. And when you apply for this new credit card, you affect the age of your credit by six months back. One. Second, you take a hard inquiry that's gonna decrease your score by five points. Two, you're gonna, and the credit card they're gonna give you is gonna be like about like $200 credit card. And when you have a credit card for $200, the amount that you buy, you buy stuff at the mall is like for 150 So pretty much it's 200 and you only buy 150 $150 out of 200 So what you just did, you killed this. So you're just affecting the 255 points out of your credit. So when you go apply for a credit card at the mall, you have to be very careful. Uh, these people know what they're doing. And, and again, one, you already spent like, no gonna face now I come here and buy. Now I come here and get affected credit, you know. But the, so and then now, no credit, be careful. And then credit mix. So avoid collections because second credit card. Ou fait mes credit card là, les tobes dans collection fait mel. Okay. M'pral ban nou yo exemple. M'pral ban nou yo exemple qui côté credit mix là sorti. Est-ce que nous pas konn gagne yo machine? Nous t'a fait paiement sur machine là. Et puis pendant nous dès qu'on a fait paiement sur machine, nous fin paiement machine off. Au lieu pour crédit nous monter, c'est descendre crédit nous descend. Et puis nous dit "Oui, comment crédit me fait descendre Nous dès qu'on fin paiement machine, c'est monter pour ta monter crédit. No, because why crédit vous descend because you just close an account. All right? You just close an account. So trade line qui dégain pour machine, you close it. So now the credit mix, you no longer have a car payment. All right, so you no longer have a car payment, so that's why you well often pay on machine and be credit the sun. Ou bien let's say you get on credit card, credit card lan to be na collection. You remove credit card lan, so again you remove you just remove a line of credit. So when you keep removing line of credit, line of credit, it's affecting this by eighty five points. All right, guys. All right, guys. So c'est tout information ça me pour vous. Again, my name is Fred. Si vous êtes dans Central Florida, vous avez besoin d'acheter un CAI, vous êtes capable de vous aider. Vous avez un real estate licensé, donc vous êtes capable de vous acheter un CAI. Et vous êtes capable de vous acheter un CAI. Vous êtes capable de vous faire des choses qui sont en train de se faire avec le real estate. Et puis, pour le crédit, si nous avons un crédit pas bon, et nous avons besoin de comprendre le crédit, nous avons besoin de fixer le crédit, nous avons une collection. No get late payment. You guys have charge off and 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 car repossession. You guys have uh, eviction. I can help you, okay. And then guys, tax season is coming, and know that you cannot just keep up like information to part to bamun chiki bamun sisi bamun sila. And then maybe your 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 tax guy last year cheated on you. I mean cheated you. So if your tax guy cheated you, maybe a lot of us you guys don't know. Yo dis qu'on s'en fait 3000 dollars et puis pendant ce temps tu fais 5000 dollars. So nous besoin faire taxon avec un monde qui crédible 
yon moun nou ka fè konfyans, yon moun ki abanou informasyon an jan liye an, yon moun ki pa nan lè nou fin touche, nou pa ka dormi, bikos se pa pe de nou problem ansan avek ARS, check him, ma pe de nou, ok, mwen fè tax, you know what's funny guys, moun nou ti istwa, premye business mwen se tax, en tout moun konen pou tax, epi bon mwen fè kredi ripè, tout moun konen pou kredi ripè, sa yon kredi ripè lan vin, debi moun di fwèd, yon plis asosye fwèd avek kredi ripè pa se tax, Bon, kone la men fè real estate, hopefully now, de kan yon ka asosye mplis avek real estate lan ke pou kredi ripè ansoma avek, ansoma avek tax. But anyway, all three are my babies. I love doing every single thing that I work hard for. I love the credit repair, I love the tax business, and of course, the new venture, it's the real estate, and I already love it. Thank you very much, guys. Again, have a great afternoon. And then, pou moun ki pou al branche live lan pita, pa abye pou nou share li, et se sa sa nou ka fe pou mwen. Hopefully, guys, you guys learn a lot about credit maybe one other day i would come and dis- describe to you and go over the mass portion about what's going on in that chart thank you guys and then if you guys find that i do a good job share this live if you learned something today love give me some love guys all i'm asking give me some love so that people can see it and moon can please encourage even guide the live huh? and then jump the line guys a love my man day bum my love bum my love bum my love Et ça, ça m'a demandé. Uh, thank you very much, Julia. I really appreciate it. You're doing a great job in the Asian community. Thank you very much, Maylene. Uh, I, don't, I like to remove the hard inquiries. I can help you, Kawal. Uh, more information. Moi, j'ai besoin qu'on quitte Jean pour me build. Of course, Fabi, I got you. I'm going to aller over tout le monde. You did an amazing job explaining how the credit works. Thank you, my brother. Julia, of course, you're always there. Cut the affected part exactly. Uh, oui, mes besoins, éducation, souffre, finance. Thank you very much, guys. Et c'est toujours un plaisir pour moi, c'est ma venue. Et then again, my name is Fred. Je parle en l'autre encore. Ciao.